Entrepreneurship to me is important because it lets people think freely and, and set their own direction. Um, but I also think being an entrepreneur is being willing to take a risk with an idea and see what happens with it. What I particularly like about Techstars is, is that uh, they have a very structured approach to things. What you would have done by yourself with your team in like two years, you get that compressed in like three months. And, and a lot of people think that you know, entrepreneurship is just about creating the next app. But you see technologies that come out of these types of programs that can sometimes change the world. And all we're saying is, we in the Air Force want to be a part of that. I've been thrilled by the mentors and other people in the cohort. Uh, have met some people who I'm sure will be good friends for a while. And uh, the mentors who I'm sure I'll keep in touch with. It's been very good in terms of community. So it's been uh, a really revelatory, compelling experience where I trust the competence of the folks in the program and they've worked really hard to show that they support our company. When you see these folks who have that dream, who have that ambition, who have that talent, and you know that you can help them get to the next level, building a startup, building something on your own or even with a small team can be one of the most terrifying and exhilarating experiences there is. And knowing that there's a network and that there's a group and that there's an ecosystem that has your back and is willing to help you make that happen, that's what I love about this job. The Techstars Autonomous Technology Accelerator with the U.S. Air Force is an outreach experiment by the U.S. Air Force in how to interact with the very, very earliest of startup companies with the most innovative new solutions that the Air Force might want to use. Small startup companies actually do have the desire to work with the Air Force and Department of Defense as well. Uh, just the uh, bureaucracy and the mechanisms that, um, that uh, the DOD usually uh, requires of its vendors uh, is just too burdensome and cumbersome for small businesses. So one of the main uh, points of this particular program was for the Air Force to retrain itself how to do business with small startup companies uh, the Air Force did, in fact, uh, experiment with new mechanisms uh, by which to buy items, uh, buy product from, from startup companies that is more familiar to the startup company uh, and resembles the way that the startup company does business with its other customers, which is uh, a critical uh, factor in uh, the Air Force being successful in this endeavor. Uh, in our particular case, we also had a couple of dozen government liaisons who represent customers, subject matter experts, and procurement people in the DOD to begin to socialize the company's products around uh, the DOD customer base to make the right introductions, to um, identify contractual mechanisms and pots of money that could buy these uh, products, and to begin assisting the companies in actually uh, consummating some business uh, with the DOD. AFWorks is a way to enable uh, and harness the creativity and brilliance that exists both inside and outside of the Air Force. And as we went through really what, what is the lean startup process, and we found that we are not taking advantage of the young innovation happening throughout our nation, that these days, especially in the last 10 years or so, is not just a bunch of young companies you know, finding their way, but you're seeing this emergence of young, small companies that are now taking up market share of tech giants that 20 years ago that never would have been possible. I think what we really have to bring to this equation is I think we have real, hard, meaningful, important problems. Um, and in my opinion, they're some of the most important in the entire world. Uh, and so the best people should be working on that. The combination of the Air Force name and the Techstars name really brought some incredible competition to bear. The technology that we're seeing, really pervasive, cutting edge technology, I think has blown us out of the water. And so that the quality of the tech alone um, is, is way more than we imagined for a first run program. Right now we're in a very, uh, we're in a very good environment because we have leadership that's out over there saying, hey, go try new things and we're not gonna crush you if it doesn't work out. Um, and so us, uh, we're in a very fortunate position with AFWorks because uh, we, we have a close relationship with the senior level leadership, but we're spending a lot of time down there with the kind of the people on the ground doing some of these things. Working with the captains at AFWorks has been a fabulous experience. These are very, very smart people who have no vested interest in the old acquisition system. Um, so they've been extremely goal oriented, which is fabulous. Uh, and, and they have no vested interest in, in the old ways of doing business, so I've been very open-minded and entrepreneurial themselves 
of how to change the mechanics of, of acquisition in the Department of Defense. So it's been, it's been a breath of fresh air. We all have a role to play uh, in protecting our posterity and keeping the, the country safe and making the world a safer place. Um, there are people who are risking everything, uh, putting their lives in, in harm's way to do that. But we on the home front can have a role too. And I think that we sometimes undervalue the role that technology development has in keeping our people safe. But in many cases, that is the deciding factor in life or death. So, so my call out to any innovators out there, whether you've worked with the government before, whether you've never even considered it, that your technology could literally save lives. So don't stop and please consider the Air Force a customer. We're doing our best to be the best customer we can for you to get your technology into the hands of the people that are risking everything. One of the greatest values that I've gotten from the Air Force sponsorship of the Techstars is they are helping to create an enabling environment where they are explaining how it all works um, and where opportunities appropriate to our companies reside. Techstars has played an incredible role in helping us build that relationship with the Air Force. I mean, it's specifically given us uh, the opportunity to have face-to-face -face conversations with civilian and military personnel, all of whom added some perspective, some insight, some value to our thought process and, and helped to generate that network effect. What I see now is so many different innovative business models being applied by the customer to allow companies to do new things, new ways, changing the status quo. So what that means to me is we can get solutions out faster. The research and development investment in government is being outpaced by the commercial sector. Uh, that means that the latest and greatest technologies may not be coming to the forefront of our government in, as it pertains to the Department of Defense and Intelligence and national security, broadly speaking. I think that playing a role here and trying to help connect the non-traditionals to the traditionals is important. Frankly, organizations like Techstars, like I say, helping to move these companies along in a, at a faster pace allows our country to remain competitive in a global marketplace. The Techstars Autonomous Accelerator has been the perfect next step. And what we really needed was the opportunity to interact directly with our customers from the Air Force down through the tiers, get a better understanding of what their real requirements would be and how we would frame up a business model to deliver that. And that's exactly what Techstars has done. When you, when you see somebody react in a positive way <laughs> to what your company is trying to provide the masses, it's always a good thing, so. I'd say that you know, I've, I've enjoyed that those moments the most, which you know I, I guess those are the the moments that I cherish the most about the program is just seeing people smile <laughs> when they hear about your product. I think that the demo days that Techstars has are super important. The founders have worked really hard over 14 weeks, and they come in and the first, the first day they're asked to do a one minute pitch and you can't really recognize what the company is. And at the end of the program, in five minutes, they can give a crisp delivery of who they are, why you might want to partner with them, and what their go-to-market strategy is. That's an incredible experience. It gives them the opportunity to share what they've been doing for the last 14 weeks. It gives them the opportunity to talk to their market about who they are and what they're doing and, and attract potential customers to attract potential partners. And uh, it, it allows them to begin something and end something and then go on from it.